Well, what a prime example of how a lowest scoring game of T20 cricket can still provide plenty of entertainment. The drama, the swings, the momentum of tonight has just about given us all a whiplash. But eventually it was Lahore Kalandus who managed to get across the line tonight, winning by 17 runs. What an amazing effort by them. Huge celebrations all around. You could just feel the atmosphere of the crowd getting behind their boys tonight. And they were victorious once again at home. And as we look at the match summary, well, it was a tale of completely opposite fortunes today. Lahore sent him to bat, and at 50 for 7 in the 10th, it was looking absolutely disastrous for the Kalundas until the experienced Sekunda Raza played a priceless innings of 71 of 34. Not out, alongside Rashi Khan putting together a big partnership that got his team to a respectable total of 148. And in return, Quetta came out of the blocks firing, but after going for 10s in the first six, with Smee threatening to go big, enter Rashi Khan, 2 for 14, plus dot ball pressure from Visa and Ralph, who ended up being the pick of the bowlers with three for 22 today. A really comprehensive bowling performance from the entire unit. And one of those star players happens to be joining us alongside me in the pitch side studios, Rashid Khan with Simon Dool. And Rashid, I mean, what a win that was today. That one had to feel good. Yeah, a great win for us as a team. I think, you know, such games gives you lots of confidence and lots of energy for the uh, rest of the game, and especially you know la later part of the competition, and uh, you know while we were looking to the first 10 hours, we were lo we lost seven wickets of 50, 60 runs, and but coming back from that and winning, I think it's 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 a huge booster for the whole team, and uh, this is definitely there's going to be areas you know we need to improve to think think about, but most importantly we got those two points. Your partnership with uh, Secunda Raza, we had him on a couple of nights ago and he's talking about his love for you and, and just the way you guys are bouncing off each other and gelling together. How do you find that? And I mean, geez, he's some sort of impressive cricketer, isn't he? Amazing. You know, I think I have been playing with him from the last seven, eight years and always in the uh, opposite side, you know, Afghanistan, Zimbabwe. But, you know, the, the hard work he has been doing, you know, and... Uh, the love for this game he has, you know, it has been amazing. And I feel like, you know, that's the main reason behind he has been so successful from the last one and a half year, you know, especially in the World Cup as well and now here. So I think I think his, his, his love for the game and then, you know, got him in the same team, spent twins, we talk about a lot <laughs> in, in, in the in the net session. And also we got the batting as well, you know, we got the opportunity today to bat again. And uh, the only thing was, like I said to Raza, look, you know, just don't think about like to be getting out less than 100 let's just put 130 i feel like you know it's enough for us as a bowling unit and uh, i said i'm not gonna go for big shots you know <laughs> i want to take some time make it sure like i'm playing a test cricket <laughs> and the last three hours maybe there will be some funny shots to play with this philosophy i know you were sent in tonight but the first couple of games here deciding to bat first um how does that go with you because you you kind of get a, a wet ball at times it's going to be a little bit of dew you're having to bowl a little bit earlier as well so things are slightly different for you in, in this role or this environment well, you know, it's it's just about the mindset you have for you know. Uh, as a player, I always ready for any situation. Whenever I'm I'm uh, brought by the captain, you know, to bowl, and uh, that is something which I already make my mind. You know, I never bring the things in my mind which which gives me the negative energy. That if I just say to the captain, I want to bowl in the first ten, I want to bowl in the first fourteen, I feel like that gives me lots of negative energy. And I just told him, make it simple to the captain. Whenever you need me, either as a power play. Later part of the innings, in the middle, I think I will be there and ready. And um, with the duo as well, you know, here is when we came uh, first practice, uh, lots of duo was here. But, uh, you know, ball few, few session with the duo ball and then made it wet and, and tried to, to, to spin with that, you know. And I think, like, you know, that really helped. But, you know, mentally we are ready for it. If, if there is batting first, bowling first, I think as a professional player, you have to be always ready for it. And it was two for 14 for you, so fantastic figures. Obviously, in your first game here, we're not used to seeing you go for runs. You did, but, you know, the last two innings, you've come back spectacularly well, as we know that you do, and, you know, came into bowl in the power play, which, as we know, is, is not usually where, where you're used to bowl. But you know, how important is it to, to be able to dig yourself out of the hole that the bowling unit has been able to do today? That would set you in such good stead for the rest of the competition to know you can come back from a moment like this and, and end up with the goods absolutely i feel like you know that's as i said earlier it's a great learning for us as a team like we never there is worth never never give up you know i think that's that was the best example today you know we never give up doesn't matter either you score 
150, I score 200. I feel like, you know, there are teams which can easily defend 240 or 200. But I think before coming to the bowling, uh, we just had that world in the in, 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 in the car, like, you know, we just need to go. That's why we had, we have the best bowling unit. We have mm. to defend that. We have to have that kind of mentality where we can defend those 150 runs. I feel like nowadays in T20, if you're scoring 150, 160, there should be like 70% of that confidence as a bowling unit. The skills we have around, I think you should be there like, yes, defending. Because a couple of good overs in the middle, take wickets, one good middle. I feel like that gives you that energy and then pressure on the opposition team. So we had the same mindset today as well. One of those bowlers is, is the elder statesman of your team. He got a new shirt today, David Visa. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know he's being groomed as, as sort of a, a real leader, but a pr maybe a future coach of this side as well. He gives a lot of the team talks. Tell us a little bit about David Visa because oh, he must a, be so good to have in the side. A legend, a legend. I'm so lucky to play with him for long, you know, playing with him in the blast and then mm. playing with him here as well. And the contribution he has been doing for this team from the last three, four years, he has been great. And uh, at the moment, he's a playing coach for us as well. Yeah. You know? We, as a team, call him a playing coach. Yeah. And, you don't uh, call him granddad or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> nothing, nothing terrible like that, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an absolute yes. I mean, he's probably still cleaning up the dugout and picking up all the water bottles, isn't he? He tidies up after you all. <laughs> a great, great example for us, yeah. all the youngsters, you know, just to, to look after what we're doing. It's just not about the cricket, you know, it's just about looking around us and uh, making sure that we are, we are well cleaned and, and, and well disciplined team as well, you know. That's why he's he's the best in the team and his his suggestion, his experience is so important and uh, I think there has been lots of respect for him in the team and uh, his contribution is, is wonderful to have him and uh, especially with Shaheen, he has been there all the time and uh, so I feel like, you know, his contribution from the last three, four years is, is, is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I just want to touch on Shaheen as well, because relatively new to captaincy. How, how are you finding his role and, and what is he sort of providing from a captaincy point of view? Well, you know, it's all about the whole management in the, in, in the family we have, this Laho Kalanda, you know, it's it's like all on a single, like in a page, there is nothing like different ways of people having different things in here and there talking I, I don't think so I haven't seen those things from the last three four years in this team and uh, I think that's the beauty of this team and that's a reason behind the success as well you know everyone listens to him everyone respect him a lot and he has been so calm you know I haven't seen him like you know the way he has been treating especially the youngster which is great you know and uh, it makes you so happy that the way he handled the youngster he's meeting with them and, and giving them the time and talk, talking to them discussing the things I think that makes the environment so beautiful and I think uh, as long you have that kind of environment and you inside the field you're much relaxed and you just focus on you do the best for the team but since he has got this opportunity of being a captain of Laho Kalandar he's, he's wonderful and he has been doing a great job. No, he's been absolutely awesome as have you been. Akiv Javid said to us before that you've been an absolute blessing to the team and we've been blessed to have your company with us for a few moments at the end of this match so we will let you go and celebrate with the rest of the boys. Rashi Khan, thank you so much for your time and we can't wait to see what you boys pull out the next match in a couple of days. Thank you so much, thank you. Thanks. All right, well, no surprises who our master blaster of the evening was as he wrapped up all the awards in the post-match presentation.